Hey there, it's Carrie Rhodes here. Welcome back to my stamp studio here in Eagle, Idaho and my YouTube channel. Today is episode one of my stamp set of the month series for March, 2023. This month I am featuring the Lawn Fawn stamp set, Wheelie Great Day. It's that new one that has a Ferris wheel in it. I fell in love with it the minute I saw it because it already goes with things that I have and I love that. It really makes me want to buy things when that happens. Does that happen to you? <laughs> so I'm featuring that stamp set the entire month, every Thursday, right here at 7 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. New ideas for you with this stamp set and things that coordinate with it. So we'll get started on that in just a minute, but I have a giveaway. I am giving away the card from episode three of last month's series on the Tiny Spring Friends. And this one was a slimline with a little easel part. And so I randomly selected a name from all of you who left me such nice comments. Thank you so much. And that winner is Christina Hine. Your name is across the screen, just in case I pronounced it wrong. And I will be sending this out to you once we connect via email. Okay, so today we're making a full panel or edge to edge or infinity shaker. What do you call it? I call it a full panel shaker, but it's got a layer over the top. So it's kind of like a surprise shaker because you can hide all the little shaker bits. So it's really cute and I can't wait to share it with you. So let's jump right in and get to stamping. All right, I am using a couple other stamp sets today and that is the new Friends Forever and the Coaster Critters stamp set. That's the one I knew I needed this new Wheelie Great set because it matched that one. And this is my idea. I thought you might like to see a little behind the scenes of how I plan it. But when I saw those Forever Friends, I loved the cats like sitting looking out at the sunset. So I thought I would make a card where they're sitting out looking at the sunset over the ocean and on the pier is a little carnival. So here's the pieces I'm using for my layers on my card. And I wanted you to see the measurements there. They're all four and three fourths wide, and then they have different heights. And I will be making an A7 size card, which in the end ends up measuring five by seven inches. So here I am adding some ink to that smallest panel, Twisted Citron and Rustic Wilderness to create uh, my little grassy hill that my kitty cats are gonna sit on. So I'm just gonna blend those two together. So back and forth between the two colors. And then um, even if the blend isn't perfect, you just add a little splatter. But I like the splatter on all the things. So of course I added it. Then once it was dry, I am adding or cutting it out with my simple stitched hillside borders. And this is like the medium curve. There's a barely curved one, a really curved one, and a medium one. Next, I have this um, gray wood grain cardstock from the Ranger Tim Holtz collection, and I'm adding a little hickory smoke around the edges. I wanted it just to be a little bit darker, so I went around the edges, which kind of and had me going in towards the middle. So I just decided to spritz it a couple times with water to um, lighten it up a little bit. And I like how it turned out. So this is going to be the pier for my little carnival. And then I drug my stamp pad across this, um, I think it's like a fourth of an inch strip. And I just thought the, the pier needed a little edging. So that's why I added that. And then I added my grassy hill. I'm going to set that aside and work on the sunset part of the card. So I figured out I wanted my sun to be about the five inch mark because I had laid out some typing paper and put my stamps right on those layers so I could kind of figure out where everything was going to go and the sizes that I needed. So I drew the line, that's my horizon line, and then I'm trying to line up that stamp with my line. There's like a line where the sun ends. So that's my goal is to stamp this straight and on the line. And mostly the reason is because the first time I did this, it wasn't straight. I, I had to redo it. <laughs> I know. I am always telling you guys, you got to just keep going. But once like a panel has several mistakes on it, then you, sometimes you have to redo it. And I did. So um, I just 
didn't quite get the sun on the line, so I'm just making my horizon line a little thicker using a black Sharpie marker. I also stamped this same image onto a piece of masking paper, so it's a really lightweight paper on the front and very low tack adhesive on the back. That way I can stick it down over my sun, I can ink blend my sky, and then I can stick a piece over my sky and ink blend my ocean. So that's what I'm gonna do. Now I will also tell you, this whole like, flat card with the scene and you mask everything and it looks like things are in front and things are behind. I cannot do that. My brain does not work that way. So anybody that does these like really intricate masking cards, I'm always in shock and awe watching them make that. Like this right here was hard enough for my brain to figure out I'm going to mask this and then I'm going to mask that and I'm going to do this ink blending and then I'm going to do that. And then it will go like this. Like, mm, I'm just, I'm just being real with you guys. I have my limitations. <laughs> so let's remove the mask and then you can see what it looks like. Now, my paper just picked up a little and stuck to that adhesive in like a couple spots on the sun and a, a little spot in where the ocean is going to be too. So I'm going to do some strategic things. But for my ocean, I want it a little bit darker. So I'm starting out with Mermaid Lagoon and I'm leaving um, a kind of a white spot or a lighter area. That's going to be where the reflection of my sun is. So I did that and then I'm bringing back an Abandoned Coral, which by the way, the colors I used on the sunset are saltwater taffy and abandoned coral. So back to my sunset here. I just went back and forth between those two colors and um, they are going to just muddy up a little bit, but in the end, I think it settles down just fine. And then I'm darkening up the bottom a little bit with the um, Uncharted Mariner. Such a great color. It's like super dark teal. Mm, I love that color. Okay, so there's my ocean, and let's remove the mask very carefully, slowly. Yeah, there we go. And there you can see what it looks like. Now, sometimes things kind of look like a hot mess until you just keep going. And of course, I am going to add a little splatter. Now, I probably do this on every Lawn Fawn video, but I have my liquid stardust. It mostly ran out. So I just took the pin, the little eyedropper top off and I added water to it. I just sprayed it right in there and now I have splatter I can use with my paintbrush and I do it all the time. So I tried to record coloring of the sun. I didn't so I'm adding a second layer for you and showing you I'm using YR14 and Y38 to color out my sun and it probably looks even better with the second layer. It really intensified the sun there. Okay I'm going to do some stamping on my layers before I get any farther into this card. Now the sentiment here to Together is my favorite place to be is from that forever friends so I stamped that on my hill with some black ink now if these uh, this layout of this card looks familiar maybe you remember it from my um, stamp set of the month series with the beavers yeah I totally did a few cards in this layout it must just be like stuck in my head but we are going to make, be making a full panel shaker with this, so we're taking it up a notch. Okay, we're going to go ahead now and stamp out the little images that I want for my card. And these are the ones I planned on using. And you'll see I actually end up using more. I'm doing very simple Copic coloring here, C4 and C2 for all the gray on my card, which is um, a lot of the ferris wheel itself and so i just used that c4 where i wanted a shadow and then blended that out with the c2 and it works great and i wanted simple coloring on these because they're supposed to be like set off in the distance a little bit and i think when things are off in the distance they would have less detail so that's why i didn't put any critters into the ferris wheel or anything into my ticket booths i just felt like if i did it would lose some of its far away type perspective. So tell me if I'm wrong. <laughs> Do you think I should have put critters in there? Because I was maybe going to fill it. There's a little cat you can put in this Ferris wheel. And I was maybe going to do all cats with different colors. But uh, in the end, I decided it was better to leave them 
um, so you couldn't really see in, like they were far away. So on to my little ticket booth. So there's one in the um, new set, the Wheelie Great Day, and there's one in the Coaster Critters. Now, the new one is the rounded one, and the previous one is the flat top um, ticket, or it's just like a little booth. And I thought it was so fun that you could have different booths set up because you have one for tickets, one for food, and then they have a little bit different look. So I loved that as well. So I'm just using the same like kind of teal and coral pink colors so I can pull out the colors in my card from the sky and the ocean. I really don't like to have too many crazy colors. Like I'm really into things that are matchy matchy. So I, that's how I picked my colors. That's what I went with. All right. So let's move on to the cats. So the first one I'm going to color gray. It's going to just continue on with the theme of the gray in my card. And I'm going to make both of these kind of like tabby cats. Now I'm not sure if the stripes really look like this on the back of a cat, but I think it looks cute. So I went with it. And then I brought back the markers that I used to color out the sun. And I'm going to use those to make an orange tabby cat because because those have a soft place in my heart. I had an orange tabby cat many years ago. His name was Simba. And so I always, when I'm coloring cats, like to color an orange tabby cat. He was giant. He was like 20 pounds. And he liked to sleep on my head. He, yeah, he was my baby. <laughs> so there's my kitty cats. And now it's time to die cut out all the things. So I always like to die cut one set, put it away, die cut with the next set. But here's the thing. This Forever Friends stamp set with kitties is actually one that you could get from Lawn Fawn if you ordered a certain amount with their new release. And then usually they come out with a die later. So I had to cut that out. But I just want to tell you about that freebie set just in case you want to go order it right now and it's not available. Um, that's why. But I know that usually with the next release, it comes out as a thing you can purchase. So it will be available at some point, if not at the very exact moment that you are watching my video, which thank you, by the way, <laughs> it makes my day when you guys watch. Plus, when you leave me comments, I cannot even tell you how much that brings a smile to my face and really makes my day. So thank you. All right, so you see here, I am stamping and coloring some more images because uh, and once I had everything die cut out, I like to kind of lay out my card and get a feel for where everything's gonna go. And I was like, I feel like I could put some more things on here. And I really wanted that coaster. It really just fills in the scene. So I went for it and it fit and I was happy. So I did it. So now I'm just gluing everything into place. The only thing that's gonna be popped up with foam squares is the cats. And sometimes you've gotta lay things on there as you glue them, and that's totally what I did. I put the cats on there so I could have a reference for how things would really fit. And then the cats, again, are getting popped up with foam squares to give a little bit more of that depth perception that they are, you know, in the foreground of the scene. And then some little cars for that coaster. And then I'm putting tickets all the way around the cats because the sentiment says, together is my favorite place to be. So even if these kitties have tickets to go to the carnival, how nice is it to just be together and watch the sunset over the pier with the lights and the ocean? Yeah, it's kind of a romantic card. <laughs> okay, let's move on to the full panel shaker. I have a um, piece of cellophane here. This is like something that comes on packaging. And I cut it down so it was a little bigger than my panel, which remember is four and three fourths by six and three fourths. I put double-sided adhesive on three sides. And I think you saw that I cut the corners off, but not all the way to the corner of the paper. I leave a little bit of a space. And then you take the backing off of that double stick tape, fold in the three sides, I leave the top open so I can put in my shaker bits. So I have a Shimmer Star embellishment and a Shimmer Heart embellishment from Trinity Stamps. It's no secret that I love all the Trinity Stamps embellishments, and these are so pretty. I didn't feel like I wanted a ton in there. Um, I might have got a little more than I anticipated, but it's okay. And then I have some micro beads. This is one of my most favorite shaker elements to add to my cards. It adds a great sound, and it also helps other elements move in your card. Like these wouldn't be great shaker bits, but with those micro beads, they're gonna help things move. And um, they're also just tiny and fun. So there you have it. Take a listen. Does it kind of sound like an ocean wave? 
we're going to go with it. We're going to say yes. Okay. Everybody nod with me. <laughs> All right. It's time to add that panel. So I did double stick tape and glue. That's going to allow me to reposition it if I need to. And it's really going to help it stick. Nothing makes me more sad than when one of my paper crafting projects comes apart. Not okay. So I'm adhering this whole panel now down to my A7 size card. So it's 10 inches by seven inches, scored at five inches, and that creates an A2 card with the finished size being five by seven. So now you can see what the whole card looks like. It's all come together. I did add some white highlights with a white gel pen. It just really helps it look like the sun is shining on the top of their heads as the sun's going down. Okay, now this right here, this ticket die set, oh my gosh, I could not love this more. I mean, they're, these tickets are just cute enough to eat. They're so fun. The raffle ticket, sorry, die set. And it has these little words you can cut into it. So I cut hugs, kisses, no, it's just kiss, and hearts. And then I repeated that on the others. I also die cut this from white because I wanted to do something fun behind my words. So I took the same darkest red marker, R22, that I used on all my stamped images. And I'm using that to um, back my ticket. So it's, you know, matchy matchy. <laughs> so I glued that together and then I'm adding it to the inside of the card. So there's something fun there. And there's the finished card. This is my first card in our series here for the Wheelie Great stamp set. I have some fun ideas for you in the coming weeks, so make sure you stay tuned. Make sure you comment. I love chatting with you guys, and I will be back next Thursday, 7 p.m. Mountain Standard Time with another video with this stamp set just for you. So thank you for watching and commenting, liking. You guys are fabulous and you make me so happy. Thank you so much and I will see you all again very soon on the next video. Bye.